Revival of DII, Desert Tech 3.0, double partners, new shareholder strategic partner, uh, amazing lead partners, and specifically from the region. Number two, I think very emotional moments uh, of personal relationships, people we didn't meet for a long time. So I, I think in this respect, uh, very, very special. And then I think also the honor to have many guests from Europe that traveled um, for, uh, was a night flight that uh, traveled here. Um, so the commitment people showed to come in person uh, and I can make a long list, but maybe let me mention um, the chairwoman of the um, National German Hydrogen Council or the chief technology officer of ThyssenKrupp Steel um, or um, other dear friends from um, France, Spain, Belgium, Germany, UK, uh, you name it, uh, different other countries coming over, uh, many dear friends from Nareva, for example, from Morocco, from uh, Mazen uh, coming over, that's also an eight hours flight. So they all came here. We have many, many international guests and then a few from the UAE. I think this is also remarkable to see this wonderful commitment and to meet everybody in person here. Well, my personal role, it's all about uh, people and connecting people, connecting continents from the very first day, even though our slogan is obviously our mission, no emissions. And we are glad that the IEA, the International Energy Agency, picked this up. So DI is quite unique in this respect. Uh, we are not a trade association where you have uh, manufacturers, whatever, uh, sales managers. So we bring people that really do projects at a certain level. So this really distinguishes, uh, differentiates DRI from other organizations. And uh, I was actually so happy to hear from several people that were here the first time. And obviously our old friends, uh, they say this uh, network of people, uh, this unique, you know, um, network here you don't find anywhere else. Well, our vision uh, is that we clearly expect a decade of disruption. So in this sense, we uh, anticipate uh, exponential growth of solar, of wind in this decade. We anticipate exponential growth of the energy transition in general, um, facilitated by green molecules as well. And new technologies, they will uh, really disrupt um, many traditional fields and hopefully um, really accelerate the energy transition quite significantly. We saw actually different both public and private sector initiatives to um, uh, announce really very ambitious roadmaps uh, coming down towards uh, one dollar per kilogram and this is for example the Department of Energy in the US they want to uh, achieve one dollar per kilogram by 2030, uh, Australia 1.4 uh, US dollars per kilogram, initiatives such as Catapult launched by some of our partners like Aqua Power or Continental Wind Power, uh, you know, below two by 26. Um, but there are other initiatives, private sector in Europe or Indian government below two. So all of this together is a result basically of, of a year. So. Uh, what has changed in just a year is really breathtaking and we can be confident that with all these ambitious roadmaps and projects uh, and increased electrolyzer capacity, you know, and increased uh, installed capacity to, to scale up, that costs will really uh, come to this level and uh, I would personally tend to be um, rather optimistic because uh, in the past uh, all optimistic estimates have been far overachieved actually.